some things you knew before you arrived on this glorious planet called Earth. It is helpful to remember that you are creators who have come into this leading edge time-space reality to experience the joy of directing source energy into the specific of your physical life experience. As you made the decision to come into this body, you knew that you were a creator and that the Earth environment would inspire your specific creation. You also knew that whenever you ask, it would be given. And you were thrilled at the prospects of being inspired to attain your own specific desires, understanding that the Source would flow through you to achieve the completion of those desires. And you also knew that by always reaching for the feeling of joy or well-being, you would always be moving toward the which you desire. You knew in the process of moving toward your desires, you would experience joy. In this earth plane environment, you would have sufficient leeway to mold your vibration into a pleasing position for the attracting of a wonderful life experience. You knew uh, when, since well-being is the basis of this wonderful universe, you would have sufficient opportunity uh, thought, uh, through a continual offering of thought to mold your own thoughts into pleasing life experience. Well-being abounds, so you felt no risk or concern about contrasting environment into which you were moving. Variety would help you choose your specific life. You knew that your work was to direct your thoughts and that in doing so, your life would unfold. You are an eternal extension of source energy and that the basis of that what you are is good. You knew that you would be able to easily allow the well-being of your origin and of your source to steadily flow through you. And you knew that you could never get far from your source and that you could never completely pinch yourself off from it. You knew that you would experience immediate emotions to help you understand the direction of your thought and that your emotion would instantly tell you if you were in any moment moving towards or away from what you desired. You would knew by the way you were feeling moment by moment how much you were allowing your connection to your stream of well-being and so you came forth into this earth experience with eager anticipation of a wonderful life and you also knew that would that there would not be an immediate manifestation of any thought so that you would have ample opportunity to mold, evaluate, decide and enjoy the creative process. We refer to that time between your offering of a thought and its physical manifestation as the buffer of time. This is a wonderful time of offering thought, noticing how it feels, adjusting the thought to achieve an even better feeling and then in an attitude of absolute expectation, enjoying the gentle, steady unfolding of anything and everything that you have concluded as your desires. If I knew so much, how come I'm not successful? There is never a reason for you to be without something that you desire nor is there ever a reason for you to experience something that you do not desire, for you hold absolute control of your experience. We want you to know that you always hold the power and control of your own life experience. The only reason that you could ever experience something other than what you desire is because you are giving the majority of your attention to something other than what you desire. 
Can I really count on the law of attraction? The law of attraction always yields to you the essence of the balance of your thoughts, no exceptions. You get what you think about, whatever you want or it not. And in time, with practice, you will come to remember that the law of attraction is always consistent. It never tricks you, it never deceives you, it never confuses you, for the law of attraction responds precisely to the vibration that you are offering. But the confusion for many comes because they are offering vibrations that they do not realize they are offering. They knew that they hold a desire in a specific direction and they know uh, that their desire, desire has not yet come to them. But they, what they often do not realize is that they are offering the majority of their thoughts in opposite to their own desire. Once you understand your own emotional guidance system, you will never again offer your vibrations in ignorance. And in time you will achieve such keen awareness of your own valuable emotions that you will know in every moment if the thought that you are cu currently focusing on is taking you toward or away from something you desire. You will, you will learn to literally feel your way to the things that you desire on all subjects. The basis of your world is one of well-being. You can allow it or not, but the basis is well-being. The law of attraction says, that which is like into itself is drawn. And so the essence of whatever you give your attention to its unfolding in your experience. Therefore, there is nothing that you cannot be, do or have. This is a law. So, if all of this is true, then how it is that so many are experiencing so much of what they do not want? We want you to understand that the trip between wherever you are on any subjects and where you desire to be is as easily attainable as the trip from Phoenix to San Diego. Once you understand how to discern wherever you are along the way, once you understand the clarity that your emotions provide, you will never again not know what you are doing with your current thought. You will always be aware of whatever you are in this moment moving towards or away from your intended goal or desire. Your awarenesses of the way you feel will give you the clarity you have been seeking and you will never be lost in the desert again. Once you have the knowledge that you are moving in the direction of your desires, you might begin to relax a little bit and enjoy the fantastic journey. Whatever your mind can conceive and bring itself to believe, it can achieve. And that means you. You can do it. I can do it. We can do it. It's possible.